Hi everyone! Alright, so today we're going to learn about musical spoons. Musical spoons can be both wooden and metal. Now, first of all, I'm going to play you a couple seconds and I want you to see what it sounds like, okay? Okay? Do the spoons mimic the sound of clogging feet? Métis enjoy using all types of homemade instruments to enhance their music. They would use what they had access to, from spoons to clogging to vocal improvisation, right? It's all about what they had at home. Today you're going to make your own musical spoons. You can either use wooden spoons or metal spoons like me, right? The trick is to make sure that you hold them properly. I'm going to give you a little tutorial right after to show you how to actually properly hold spoons so you can play them because when you actually learn how to use them properly, they actually turn out pretty cool. All right, so that's what you're gonna get up to today. Now remember, okay, there's no wrong way of doing it. All right, just have some fun, okay? Enjoy. All right, so technique of using spoons as an instrument. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to have your one spoon flipped like this, okay? You're gonna put it between your bottom two fingers and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's resting in your hand so it's not moving anywhere. See how it's not moving? It's not going anywhere. It's very tight, okay? Secure. Now, your second one is what's gonna help you make the sound, okay? This one can go between, so you have your bottom one between the first two fingers, you have it. The second one is going to go on top. Now, this one has to be the opposite direction so that we have something to make a sound with, all right? Now, I'm using kitchen spoons. You are absolutely welcome to use kitchen spoons. This one, the second one, has to be the opposite direction. So they're both facing out. Notice they're both facing out. And the bottom one, sorry, the top one, is now going to be what's creating that sound. Notice how this one, this top one is loose. So that's what's going up and down, okay? This top one is completely loose, okay? Okay, beautiful. So now what you're going to do is you're going to tap it, okay? Tap it on your hand to get used to the rhythm. Use it on your leg. That's what I'm gonna show you next, okay? Now it's your turn. How are you going to make your pattern? Again, make sure, let's go over this. Bottom one, bottom spoon, facing outwards, has to go between your bottom two fingers, all right? Top spoon is gonna go between your last finger and your thumb, and that's what's creating the sound, okay? Okay, you're gonna get some really cool sounds, but practice with it, it takes a while. Because this one, this bottom spoon, should not move anywhere, right? It's not going anywhere. This top spoon is just sitting on top of your last finger, your pointer finger, and your thumb, between your pointer finger and your thumb. And that's what's gonna help make it sound. Now, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like when you put it against your leg, right? Now, I promised you a couple seconds of showing you how I use them on my leg. Make sure, again, you have your two fingers, bottom two fingers, that's where your first spoon, you're holding your first, first spoon. Make sure they're always looking away from each other, all right? And your second spoon just goes between your last and your thumb, right? All right, let's try it out. All about getting a rhythm, all right? There's no wrong way of doing it, okay? Play around. It's always easier when you hit against your leg and then come up to hit against your arm or your hand, all right? No wrong answer. Go have fun, all right? See everybody later.